Book is a medium of recording information by writing or using images. Books have been in use since ancient times, and have played a crucial role in the development of human civilization. They have been used for religious, educational, and entertainment purposes, and have been instrumental in the spread of knowledge and the preservation of cultural heritage. Books can be divided into various genres, such as fiction, non-fiction, poetry, and drama. They can be published in various formats, such as paperbacks, hardcovers, and e-books. The average person will read about six books per year. Join us. Let's have a fun. The oldest known book in the world is the Epic of Gilgamesh, which dates back to around 2100 BCE. The Epic of Gilgamesh started out as a series of Sumerian poems and tales dating back to 2100 BC, but the most complete version was written around the 12th century by the Babylonians. The story was later lost to history after 600 BC, and it wasn't until the mid-19th century that archaeologists finally unearthed a copy near the Iraqi city of Mosul. Since then, scholars have hailed the 4,000-year-old epic as a foundational text in world literature. The most widely printed book in history is the Bible. At the top of the list, unsurprisingly, is the Bible. The Guinness Book of World Records estimates that more than 5 billion copies of the Bible have been printed. The book had several authors and can be roughly divided into two parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Bible was written somewhere in the period between the 8th BC and the 1st century CE. The Kuthoda Pagoda is located in Mandalay, Myanmar and is known for its world's largest book, consisting of 729 marble slabs inscribed with Buddhist texts. The pagoda was built during the reign of King Minden in the 19th century. Each marble slab is housed in its own small stupa, creating a unique and visually striking sight. The texts inscribed on the slabs are considered to be some of the most important texts of Theravada Buddhism. The pagoda is considered a significant religious and historical site in Myanmar and is visited by many tourists and locals. Tini Ted from Turn of Town, 2007, published by Robert Chaplin, is certified by Guinness World Records as the world's smallest reproduction of a printed book. The book was produced in the Nano Imaging Laboratory at Simon Fraser University in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, with the assistance of SFU scientists Li Yong and Karen Kavanaugh. The book's size is 0.07 mm by 0.10 mm. The letters are carved into 30 microtablets on a polished piece of single crystalline silicon, using a focused gallium ion beam with a minimum diameter of 7 nanometers. This was compared to the head of a pin at 2 millimeters, 2 million nanometers, across. The story was written by Malcolm Douglas Chaplin and is, a fable about Teeny Ted's victory in the turnip contest at the annual county fair. The Codex Lester S.A. Collection of Scientific Writings by Leonardo da Vinci. The manuscript currently holds the record for the fifth highest sale price of any book. It was sold to Bill Gates at Christie's Auction House on the 11th of November 1994 in New York for 30,802,500 United States dollars, equivalent to $56,314,494 in 2021. The manuscript does not take the form of a single linear script, but is rather a mixture of Leonardo's observations and theories on astronomy, the properties of water, rocks, and fossils, air, and celestial light. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone is the first book in the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. It was first published in 1997 and has since become one of the best-selling books of all time, with over 500 million copies sold worldwide. The series tells the story of a young boy, Harry Potter, who discovers that he is a wizard and attends a school of witchcraft and wizardry. The book and the series as a whole have become a global phenomenon, with a massive following of fans of all ages. The Harry Potter series has been translated into over 80 languages and has been adapted into a successful film franchise. The books have been credited with revitalizing interest in reading among children and young adults and have been praised for their themes of friendship, love, and the triumph of good over evil. Most Gutenberg Bibles contained 1,286 pages bound in two volumes, yet almost no two are exactly alike. 
Of the 180 copies, some 135 were printed on paper, while the rest were made using vellum, a parchment made from calfskin. Out of some 180 original printed copies of the Gutenberg Bible, 49 still exist in library, university and museum collections. Less than half are complete, and some only consist of a single volume or even a few scattered pages. The first book ever printed in Braille was, Method of Writing Words, Music, and Plain Songs, by Louis Braille in 1829. Louis Braille, who was blind himself, developed the Braille system of reading and writing in 1824. He was a student at the Royal Institute for Blind Youth in Paris, France, where he first created the system as a way to read and write more efficiently. His first book was a primer for his system and it helped to spread Braille around the world as a way for people who are blind or visually impaired to read and write. The Braille system uses a combination of raised dots arranged in cells of up to six dots. These cells are used to represent letters, numbers and punctuation. Braille is still widely used today, and it is considered an essential tool for people with visual impairments to access information and communicate. The I Ching, also known as the Book of Changes, is an ancient Chinese text and divination tool dating back to the Zhou Dynasty, 1046-256 BCE. It is considered one of the oldest Chinese classics and is said to have been written by the legendary Fu Shi. The text is composed of 64 hexagrams, each made up of six stacked lines, broken or unbroken, that represent different situations and states of change. The hexagrams can be used for divination by casting yarrow sticks or coins and interpreting the resulting pattern. The I Ching is also considered a work of philosophy and wisdom, offering guidance on morality, politics, and personal development. It continues to be studied and used by many people around the world today. The Complete Angler is a classic book on fishing written by Isaac Walton in 1653. It is considered one of the most famous works on the subject and has had a significant impact on the sport of fishing. The book is divided into two parts, the first being a treatise on the art of fishing, and the second part is a pastoral dialogue between the author and a fictional character named Piscator, in which they discuss the pleasures of fishing and the virtues of a simple life. The book is known for its charming and engaging style, as well as its combination of practical advice and philosophical musings. It was written during the time of King Charles II, and the book reflects the society and culture of that era. It continues to be widely read and appreciated by anglers and outdoor enthusiasts to this day. The smallest printed book in the world is The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. It measures just 0.9 by 1.1 inches, 2, 3 by 2.8 centimeters, and contains the full text of the famous novel. It was first printed in 2000 by the Guinness Book of World Records as the smallest book ever printed and it was intended as a collector's item. The book is made with microscopic font and it is bound by hand. The book is so small that it requires a magnifying glass to read and it is housed in a miniature slipcase. The book is considered a unique and rare item due to its tiny size, but the story of The Little Prince is considered a classic and a beloved tale around the world. The Adventures of Pinocchio is a novel by Carlo Collati, first published in 1883. The story is about a wooden puppet named Pinocchio, who is brought to life by a fairy and embarks on a series of adventures and misadventures as he tries to become a real boy. The book has become one of the most popular and beloved children's stories of all time, with over 50 million copies sold worldwide. The story has been translated into over 260 languages and it has been adapted into numerous films, television shows, and stage productions. The book is considered a classic of children's literature and is known for its themes of morality and personal growth. The character of Pinocchio is one of the most recognizable figures in children's literature and is a symbol of a child's journey towards maturity.